Hello guys, I am Muskan Patel from Radical Descartes Solution Private Limited and welcome to our Radical Descartes videos. Today we are going to talk about one sequential timer from Multispan Make. In this video, further we will configure this product and also working of this model sequential timer 1022. So first of all, let's talk about its features and specifications. Talking about product features, model is SQT1022 Multispan Make. Its product type is Digital Timer. Its number of channels are 4. Display type is Digital Dual 7 Segment LED Display. LED indication for each channel and timer range. Timer range is selectable, second, minute, or above. Automation grade is automatic. Looking at its specifications, so technically input range is as I have said that selectable in second minute and hours 99.99 .99, and you can select a decimal point as per your applications. Output is 4 relay. In this you have program of 3 mode, delay on, delay off and cycle mode. Counting direction is up or down configurable, memory yes or no configurable, reset front and back both reset available, supply voltage is between 100 to 270 volt AC and 50 to 60 hertz frequency. Dimensions of this model is 96 by 96 and the panel cutout is 92 by 92 mm. So now let's look on to this model working. So you can see here one setup with me, the sequential timer SQT1022, here you can see it with me, the whole setup. Now we will configure its working as well as how we connect this and configure the programming of this timer setting. So follow this video. Now I start this and this will operate turn by turn. Here I put 4 relay. Now I stop from this, so it will stop here, you can see the results. Okay, so now we will check its programming setup. Here in this model you can get this user manual for working purpose. So it is very easy for you to configure this model. So now we configure this, first of all press this. Set key so you get this delay he, from here you can change here I select zero for my application you can change as per your requirements so here I select zero and then enter so here you get this option on one means that channel one on time here it is off time then it's delay time 2 here from here you can change here i select 0 on 2 off 2 so for 4 channel you can select this as per this after that enter so your data will be stored now for further configuration press this two key together so here it is asked for password so its password is 1044 so here I set this then its cycle you can here choose 3 mode delay on delay off and cyclic mode its range and decimal point you can change as per your requirements here second minute and over then here you can change cycle 
so from here you can select a cycle how many times you want to operate your devices on and off so here I select 0 so it is on automatically continuously now I select for second relay it's also 0 for third one is also 0 and for fourth one is also 0 so it is continuously working so for further configuration press this key and power on key together so you will get this option here you can select your relay set its number of cycle here I select 0 you can choose as per your requirements its mode individual or common that means your relay is working as individually or a common here I select individually here input is trigger as well as enable you can select from trigger or enable so from this option start pulses can be selected here we use push buttons to start our relay on and off so here I select trigger you can select from this options enable also in enable option you have to press this continuously here I select trigger so yes so now you can see the setup again here I press start so you can see the result the four relays one by one on continuously in cycle when I stop this button it will stop automatically so here you can see it is stop now so from this reset key you can start this again like this so yes this is the operation of this sequential timer 1022 here I connected four relays you can connect your motors as per your requirements which you want to operate sequentially this timer can be used in many industrial applications okay guys so here you can see our wiring setup how I can connect this uh, timer through my devices so here I give line and neutral power supply to 30 volt AC you can give 100 to 270 volt AC here also you can see here we connect this reset and start keys here 5 and 6 I give the reset and start 9 and 10 so also here I give power supply to the C of this relay 1 2 3 and 4 you can see the connections and anode is connected for output of this relays 1 2 3 4 here I also connect this neutral of this indicator so you can see here whole setup of our wiring diagram so if you have any query you can contact us thank you